Let's continue preparing for this Excel 2013 MOS certification. Here we're practicing 4.3b and we're focusing on Excel functions if, countif, and not. You can download this file at sdrv.ms forward slash 1c5 capital Y capital P M7. So we see this spreadsheet here, and we can see there is uh, this monthly budget column. And unfortunately, we have to pay our bills, and these are just some of the things where we're gonna be paying each month. And you can see here's our budget. This is what we're allocating for the various amounts, and that's a lot of money there. Maybe we, we can save some money if we cut down on these costs, but nonetheless, here's our budget. As for the actual spending, the reality is Looks like we're spending a bit too much. And uh, this amount here is bigger than this amount here. And sometimes we're meeting our goal and sometimes we're not meeting our goal. So let's see how this works here. So I can see that this is a sum function equals sum from here to here. And this here is a sum. So we're just adding things up. And let's click on this uh, first the message here. What we have here, if you look at this formula bar, is an if statement. If, if C4 is greater than B4, C is column C, row four, if this amount is greater than this amount, comma, it's gonna display the message too much, comma, otherwise it's gonna print out the message goal met. So in this case, 1500 is not greater than the um, 1500, it is equals to but not it's not greater than this little Pac-Man mouth is opening towards the greater than value. This means greater than. So because it's uh, not true, it's going to display the second part, which is goal met. Whereas here, when I click on the next cell, it says too much. It, sells, it says too much because this if statement, the C5 indeed is greater than B5. So if this condition, this is the if statement has a condition, if the condition is true, then it's gonna display this first text, whereas if it's false, it's gonna print out the second text. So you can see that we're just repeating this pattern here and I probably used autofill to just drag out the bottom and it very quickly found all these different uh, messages here using the if statement. So I'm also going to note here, this, uh, there's this nice name box here. I, I merged in Centra. I even made it very pretty yellow. And the person's name here is Greg. So let me scroll down a little bit. And I see there's another box here that's talking about total overruns. So there's a box here that says total overruns. And what's happening here is it's going to look at the above data, D4 to D15, all these messages about too much or goal met, these messages. And it's going to count if within this range the message is too much so in terms of losing our goal we pay we, we we're uh, way over our goal by too much we're paying too much uh, we unfortunately uh, ran over we overrun our budget five times now let me just change some numbers here let's pretend that we didn't entertain ourselves very much let's say fifty dollars so goal met you can see the numbers all automatically adjust, including the total overruns. Let's make this groceries. Uh, well, groceries are already under. Let's go gas and hydro, 150. Total overruns is three. So you can see that everything is uh, automatically adjusting itself. It says here, you went over budget too many times. So this final box here I wanna explain is kind of confusing, but I think we can break it down. So let's try to uh, peel away some uh, onion layers of understanding here. So this final box I'm clicking on, which gave the message, you went over budget too many times, has an if statement. So here, if this condition is true, it's gonna give you the message, you went over budget too many times, and that's what happens here. Otherwise, it's gonna say you are a budget ninja, which is good. Now I see something sneaky here about the word Susie. So let's try doing something and and uh, let's be a bit suspicious about this word equals Susie B1. What's this about that? So clearly we're over budget and we went to over budget 
uh, and, and unfortunately here we went budget um, uh, three or more times so this is greater or equal to three and uh, that's uh, three strikes and we're out unfortunately that's that's too bad in fact let's make it a bit worse here so here we'll just say we entertain ourselves and we'll spend uh, 250 on entertainment for sure four is way too big however if I change the name Greg to Susie look what happens here Susie is allowed to break the rules and spend as much as she wants so she's a budget ninja no matter what so let's see what happened here if and the condition here is from here to here if and so both of these conditions must be true uh, this condition and this condition must be true and the fact that we have not not is gonna do the opposite uh, it's gonna switch true to false and false to true so right now our B1 value is Susie so this is true B1 indeed is true so when we say that B1 does equal Susie uh, and that's true not true becomes false so this not this result here becomes false and the way that uh, the uh, and statement works is that they both must be true for us to result with a overall true result so uh, because of uh, this uh, the way this is logic is set up uh, it's going to definitely go to the uh, second uh, ladder option which is you are a budget ninja so this is kind of cheating for Susie she's allowed to spend as much as she wants so let me just write this down uh, for you so what we have here is in terms of boolean logic you can just google boolean logic if you're not sure what's going on here uh, what we have is when we say something is true and when we say something is um, not true it becomes false and something else we need to know here is that if, as for boolean logic we have something that is true and true becomes true true and false becomes false false and true becomes false false and false also becomes false so the only thing that becomes true in terms of boolean logic when we're using the word and and here in excel we're using the word and is both conditions must be true for us to have a, a true result and for Excel the true result here is the first text as opposed to the second text which corresponds to the false result so finishing this video off you can see here that uh, not only uh, do we have the Suzy part we also have uh, d18 is greater or equal to 3 so d18 is going to be d 18 is here uh, this number we're talking about is the number four the num total number of overruns here in terms of us being a uh, going over budget uh, it's considered over budget if we have this value greater or equal to three now of course we can be more strict and change this to a two uh, or even a one and uh, that's something we can play with so I apologize if this video is a bit long, but uh, somehow we got a good chance to put everything together here. Uh, we could, of course, break down this video and practice these concepts individually, but uh, the beauty about Excel is that you can actually combine functions and have custom solutions to work out exactly the way you want. So remember that the function not flips the Boolean result, and it requires both to be true to uh, result in true and an if statement if it's true it returns the first thing uh, and if it's false it returns the second thing and finally if you like spending make sure you change your name to Susie